Hello and welcome to this video on using the new Ban in a Box for Windows DAW plugin, specifically using it in Cubase. With Ban in a Box 2019 for Windows, we've introduced a plugin version of Ban in a Box that accesses all of the real tracks, real drums, and other content in Ban in a Box that can be used right inside your favorite DAW without having to open the actual Ban in a Box application. The plugin comes free with the purchase of Ban in a Box and the plugin installs when you install the main program. In this video, we're going to have a look at the various ways you can use this amazing plugin in Cubase. If you use a different DAW, we have other videos that demonstrate it in many other DAWs, such as Reaper, Pro Tools, Cakewalk, Studio One, and many more. In this video, we'll first look at a quick and easy way to get started using the plugin. We'll also go through some of the technical aspects, such as the installation, locations of the plugin on your computer, and some settings within the plugin. Then we'll look at different ways you can use the plugin, including adding Band in a Box tracks to an existing project you're working on. And throughout the video, I'm going to try and use a variety of different Band in a Box styles, so you'll get a sense of some of the different genres, grooves, and tempos we cover. Whether you're into jazz, rock, country, R&B, or any style you can think of, there's something for you in Band in a Box. So what we're listening to right now are some great funk tracks played in Cubase that we created with the plugin. Everything that you're hearing right now in Cubase was created by the Band in a Box plugin simply by typing in these chords, and you can enter any chords in any key. Then we picked this funk style and generated the tracks. I'm going to go back in time a little bit to show you just how we got these great sounding tracks. So here we are with a blank Cubase project. There aren't even any tracks or anything here yet. In order to use the plugin, you need to find it in the media rack at the right under VST Instruments, Other, which you can then drag to the tracks list area, which creates an instrument track where the plugin resides and it also opens the plugin. So this is the Banner Box plugin. It's sizable, so I'll make it bigger. And now we have a blank chord chart this area here is for the different instruments in the style and is currently blank because we don't have a style loaded yet. Here's where you can pick a style. Here you can set various musical elements such as the key, time signature, etc. And there's a spot for a song title and various menus we'll look at later. What we basically need to do in order to get some tracks is pick a style and enter some chords, not necessarily in that order. So I'll enter a chord progression first. I'll do it in the key of F, and I'll start entering some chords. F7 at bar 1, and I'll leave that for 4 bars. Maybe A flat 7 at bar 5, and B flat 7 at bar 7. I'll use a handy shortcut, K8, to copy the last 8 bars. I'll also add a part marker at bar 9 to outline the form of the song, and that means the drums will play a fill in the bar right before that part marker. At bar 17, I'll add a part marker as well, but I'll click a second time to make it a B part marker, which means the drums will change what they're playing at that part. And I'll enter G minor, then C minor at bar 19, G minor at bar 21 again, and then C7 at bar 23. I think that's good. I'll change some of the elements up here. I'll make the end bar 24, but I'll actually end on an F chord and I'll change choruses to four, so this entire thing will repeat four times. So now we can select a style, either by clicking in the Select a Style area, or by going to the Select menu and picking Select a Style. So here is the list of all of the Band in a Box styles available, and you can see there's over 6,000 to choose from. And in this list, you can just double click on any style in the list to hear a sample of what it will sound like. So for example, if I filtered the list to show jazz styles, I could sample some of them. some rock styles.
or some country styles. But I think the progression I entered would be very well suited to some funk styles. So I'll filter by that. I'll sample a variety of some funk styles. And I love this lash out style. You'll notice that in this column it shows the ideal tempo of the style, which for this one is 110 beats per minute. That does not mean you have to use it at that tempo, but if it's somewhat close to that, you'll get the best results. So I'll pick that style. So now there's a tap tempo feature in Cubase that I'll use by going to Project, Beat Calculator, and I'll press Tap Tempo, and then use the space bar to tap in what I have in mind for this funk tune. One, two, three, four. So it's come up with 115.1 beats per minute. I'll round that to 115 and enter that into the DAW and the plugin. So now we're ready to generate the parts. And there are some custom generation options in this menu, but right now I just want all the tracks generated normally. So I'll press the top generate button. So it's now creating the tracks. You'll notice that right now there are some green squares and a blue square in this area, and those squares are empty. When the tracks are ready, those squares will be filled in. The generation does take a little bit of time, so we'll skip ahead in the video a bit. So now it's finished, and these squares are now filled in with waveform icons, meaning they're ready to drag into the DAW. Before we do that, we can sample these tracks by pressing play up here. And we can now drag them into the DAW, and this can be done individually like this. But I'll undo that so I can show you importing them as a group by dragging the blue icon. And now we have these tracks right in our DAW. And during playback, the chord chart also highlights the currently playing bar, in itself a great tool if you want to record your own tracks now over top of this. You can now mix the tracks, of course, add effects like reverb, or anything we like. And as with all real tracks and real drums, these are real instruments played by real musicians. These are not individually sampled notes. These are actual performances by some of the top studio musicians in the world, able to play over any chord progression in any key you enter. This particular style has a bass part by Alex Al, one of the most sought after bass players in LA, who played in Michael Jackson's band for over 10 years and has also played with the likes of Stevie Wonder, Sting, and many more. And on guitar is Bob Lanzetti, baritone guitar Mark Lettieri, and drummer Spud Searight, all of whom are a major part of the New York funk and fusion scene. I'll do a few similar but quicker examples like this with a few different styles so you can get a sense of the scope of what you can do with the Band in a Box plugin. Here I'm typing in some chords like I did before. But this time I'll pick a hard rock style. Now I'm setting the tempo and generating the tracks. Now I'm dragging them in. And I've got some great hard rock tracks in my project.
Here I'm typing in some chords for a bluegrass tune I have in mind. Here now I'm picking a bluegrass style. And now I'm generating the tracks. And I've got some cool bluegrass tracks in my project. In addition to actually typing in the chords, you can also just open actual Band in a Box files. Either files you've created right in the Band in a Box app or files other people have sent you, or even the demos that come with Band in a Box. I'm going to open a Band in a Box song file that features a country style that includes a soloist by the amazing Nashville legend Johnny Highland. So we now have the entire thing entered for us, the chord progression, key, form, etc. So I'll just generate the tracks. Now I'll drag them in. And here's a great country style with Johnny Highland soloing over the changes. I'll do the same file open thing to check out the demo for a Samba Brazil style loading a song that features a style with the legendary Alex Acuna on drums, as well as the amazing Ramon Stagnero on guitar. I'll generate, drag the tracks in, and here it's playing. 